Okay, talk about a Hail Mary play. Got about 20 minutes left before I want to head out, and I was researching the topic, and this is a place where the 80-20 rule really comes into play, where it says you get 80% of the benefit from the first 20% of your work. Now, there's a lot of ways to get temp into web space, but it seems to me that this is the easiest. So, when you instantiate an app, a Flask object, you get to set the static URL path. And so, I go over to our code, and I go with a shift G to the bottom, which is where that object is created. Here we go. We just add that one more item. I think it feels like it belongs before debug. And remember, uh, parameters can be out of order when you're naming them, when you're using the actual correct uh, name equals something. So static URL path equals slash oops, insert slash TMP. Now it knows to serve files out of the temp directory. And uh, we're going to do this by test this. We're going to test this first by seeing if this restarted. Unex got an unexpected keyword argument. Is static URL path really an unexpected keyword argument? Let's see if it stays running. Yes, it is unexpected. So what we need is flask static folder set. Flask set static folder. Static folder equals static folder path equals. But that's flask.blueprints. Let's see if there's a this is the big documentation. Let's see if there's something out here on Google that just tells us a little more directly. self.config, so app.config, static folder, app, okay, just static folder equals, or you can do it this way, but it seems easier to do it this way, so we just uh, change URL underscore path to static folder. server no uh, expected keyword arguments hmm <laughs> Open name uh, Oh, I'm doing it under app.run. No wonder I'm getting the wrong thing. This is not where the app is instantiated where app is instantiated. This is 
where the run method is called. I'm looking for the first occurrence of flask being used. Yeah, oh, just teaches you to pay attention. These videos must be painfully long from your guys' perspective, huh? There's even scientific evidence that I should be editing my mistakes out so that the first thing you're exposed to is the right way. But there's not enough time in the day to save you that time. So you're going to be seeing my processes, mistakes and all. And it does in fact look like the server can restart. And now we're going to test the fact that uh, temp is web space by going slash test.txt and I'll actually go over here to temp and go uh, cat hello into test.txt Hmm, okay, I'm trying to outsmart myself with uh, this Unix commands, vim test.txt. Hello. Now there's a test.txt in there. If I go like that, not found, okay. So we need to figure out why that is not found. Is that not the location where my static files are being fetched from now? There is in fact the static folder, but I've been detecting, oh, static URL path that might actually go back to that original uh, concept that I had there, which is uh, static URL path. static URL path equals where should we put such things? I'll make it the same. That looks like a good time to watch the server. Oh, URLs must start with a leading slash. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see if the server starts. Looking good. We're waiting for the server to really start. To really start. Hello! Yay! You have seen a Big accomplishment here because the fact you can give a link to this location means you can construct a uh, link to give back to the user for downloading the file that's in that same directory. I'm tempted to just cut the file, the uh, video here before making the the download link, and in fact, I think I will. This is just such good staging. This is a major step forward. I'm making static files under the Flask system be served from the temp directory, and as we just demonstrated here, they're actually there. Actually there and actually accessible uh, with a link in a web browser. So I think even the final dot has been created in this video. There's still a piece of connection to be made before Pipulate starts to become this wonderfully uh, useful thing actually out there in the free and open source wild. So I'll stop right, well, I say I'll stop right there, but the truth is I really want to do a git commit 
all message uh, provided ability to link to files in temp. And I'll just say static. Link to static files. Git push. And really, that was just one change, one insertion, one deletion. It's amazing how much you can accomplish with just adding a couple of parameters on one line. Truth is, I probably could have given a link like that to a subdirectory of the project called static, the same way I made the templates directory according to the Flask defaults, but probably not a good idea because you just want stuff that you upload separated out from anything having to do with web space or the repository, I should say dynamic web space or the repository, so that it never gets picked up in the repository and so that it never can be attempted to be executed as code. And by using the slash TMP directory, it has the added benefit of being purged every once in a while when the system is rebooted. Now, I got to keep that in mind for the future when I actually want files to hang around with the scheduling and task management system. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you again soon, and don't forget to subscribe.